Listen to that thing roar. It's really working well. The stove, it's, it's, uh, it, if you follow my channel, you know I had a few issues with the stove, but it's really starting to, to come together. And there are, you know, some things I want to do to the stove to make it even better, but right now, I mean, listen to that. That's a great draft. So the ball I used for the fire is simply just lint and it's, uh, it's been drenched in wax, Parawax. And you light that up and it just goes for the longest time. Um, I think it's pretty environmentally friendly. There's some sawdust left on it. I have another uh, fire starting concoction and that is uh, sawdust mixed with a bit of bar oil. That stuff works really well, but this, I'm really happy with this. This thing worked really well today. Anyway, I'm here to do a bit of work on the tent. I cut a hole in the tent in my last video. I uh, went through the plywood, through the tent, and uh, quite a few of you said, hey man, you might let some critters in through that hole. And I thought to myself, before I put the hole in, I thought to myself, I really did, I wonder if there's a chance that a mouse would want to get through that hole. Now, I just said, ah, to heck with it. I'm gonna do it anyway, because it's a bit of fun. Uh, but the amount of comments I got for people saying, whoa, you might let some mice in, I thought I'd get back up as soon as possible. And it's only been a few days since I've uh, last been here. Uh, it's a Tuesday night right now. I just hustled over here after work. And I'm gonna try to um, plug up that hole. Um, as well, I'm going to uh, put a proper hose to go from my propane tank to my propane stove. Also, I'm gonna make myself a steak salad tonight. I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, I'll cook it on the stove. I'll, I'll barbecue the steak inside the little barbecue hatch. I'll do that for you guys. And uh, yeah, it's just, hey look, it's just a weeknight out at the tent. And this really is just a little, a little special episode for uh, you know those loyal subs out there who love this. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, hi. And uh, if you like what, what you see throughout this video, join, join us and subscribe and hit like. I'm not seeing any animal tracks, which is good. Bleeding the line. Okay.
So this is the original cut here, and as you can see, it's too high, right? So what I did was I cut off um, and shortened it a bit, so that way it would fit. But then I thought to myself, I think I'm better off putting this on the outside and completely sealing it up from the outside as opposed to putting it on the inside and maybe allowing for mice to come through this little hole and climb in between the actual tent and the plywood. So it's I was going to cut this one and that way it would be nice and even for on the inside but I'm just going to take these outside now screw them in from the outside and I think that will eliminate any chance of any any mice coming in. Mouse getting through there. This was a great suggestion that I got in the comments just to cover it in snow because I don't know if you guys know anything about uh, Kinsey's, Quincy's, whatever, I don't even know how to pronounce it. But I do know that if you make a little snow like fort or shelter just completely made out of snow, the temperature will go up to about zero degrees for things that are like encased in snow. In snow is a really good insulator. So the hope is, is that this will keep the extreme cold off of this propane tank and uh, make it easier to start when it's minus 40. Okay, here's the test. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're flowing. There you go. So this is now my little kitchen area. Officially. <laughs> Completely set up. Don't have to worry about changing tanks. In fact, I think I'll use that tank outside to fill up some of the canisters I have lying around for my propane lantern. Now I can bake in here with my Coleman oven, no worries. I can bake for hours on end. Uh, you know, that would be pretty fun to do, I think. So, also, if you have any ideas of something that you would want me to bake in my uh, little Coleman oven, put it in the comment section what you'd like to see me bake out here. Now, be mindful, it's pretty small, uh, so you got to keep the recipe small, but I'd love to hear from you guys uh, something that you would love for me to try baking.
Beauty. I love steak and I love salad. Put it together, you got a steak salad. Uh, disclaimer, caution, warning, <laughs> loud chewing. Gonna test the steak first. Yeah, that is good. Wow. Oh, baby. Some uh, crunchy cucumbers here. And a little olive. There you have it. That, I'm going to eat that up. And it's like 8.30, 9 o'clock, Tuesday night. Got to work in the morning. I gotta pack myself up. I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Uh, I'm gonna go home and, uh, you know, can't wait to edit this thing and put it up for you. Put it up for me too. I love, I love making these videos. So it's just the whole entire process the cooking, the cutting, the tent, the editing, the shooting, the stove. The whole thing is a dream come true for me. So I'm just so glad you guys are here coming along. I say it often. And I mean it. So anyway, I'm going to eat this and I'm going to be back really soon. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be back at the tent, but I'm going to try to get up as many videos as possible while this winter season is on the go. So might be a little more homework uh, videos coming up and, and I, I enjoy those. And I just, you know, just want to share my life with you guys, you know, parts of it anyway. So my outdoor life. Uh, so yeah, if you liked it, hit like, and uh, please subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff. And I am on Instagram now, uh, and my, my handle is a J in the woods. So come on over there, and I'm trying to put up a picture, you know, one or two a day. And I'm having a lot of fun with that. So yeah, it's a way to, to chat with me there too. So thanks again. I'll see you guys really soon.